Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today, I'm gonna to be planting those. I've got lettuce, arugula, and spinach in that tray that I'm gonna plant here with my garlic. Garlic! However, I do have to first add some drip lines. So I've got these drip lines pretty far apart because what I had planted in this bed when I installed the drip lines was some um, beans and I had those separated far apart. But they're more than a foot apart, which means that some of the rows of lettuce might not end up getting watered if I start the drip line. So I've got to add more lines. So I'll bring you guys along for that and then you guys can see me plant. So recently I did a full video on how to install drip line. I added to my system right there because I had it set up for these beds here. I added to my system and went up to that bed and that bed and I showed how to do that. So if you guys wanted more in-depth video on how to install drip line, that's the way to go. Right in between those. So I'm just first puncturing all my holes right in the center of these two drip lines, this one and that one. I'll add another. So this is pretty far apart but I think I'm gonna take this one and move this one over. So I can just kind of pull this up like so and bring it over a little, just like that. And that will give me the ability to stick another one right in the center of this garlic here. And that'll give me about what I need. In fact, this one I can probably pull over just slightly as well just to ensure i've got a good about 12 inches in between the lines now you could probably go a little longer than 12 inches they say that the water spreads out about eight inches so eight inches on one side eight inches on the other should be 16 inches that's a little further but just to just to be safe so i can pull this one over like so and now this row is going to get good irrigation. I'm going to stick another one right in the center here. That'll get good irrigation. And now I can put one right here, right in the center of the garlic. Putting these little barbed connectors in. So how this works is these are four foot beds. I've got one of these every one foot and that'll start the drip. So each one of these has a dripper nodule and that'll drip along this way. So if I start it real close, then I ensure that the drip starts close. And I'll get four different drippers all along the whole bed. Now it's cold out. Maybe it's cold outside. I've got to go away. Maybe it's cold outside. And this stuff is tough to get on when it's cold. The hot sun of the summer makes this softer. So it's really tough to get on, but it didn't, didn't turn out too bad. Now we're just gonna stretch this. And you can see there's the last dripper. So that's one, two, three, four. And that drips right at the end here. So let's go ahead and cut this. And we'll cut it to right shy once we pull this of the end here. And I'm gonna be honest, when you put one of those little end caps on, it also has a light drip. So it technically is like five. Let's install another dripper. All right, next, the ends of these drip lines need to have an end cap or water's just gonna squirt out the back. Get all the end caps installed. We need to be able to prop these up with these little stakes. So we're just gonna start at the end here and you just basically click it in, it holds it, and then you can push them in like so. And they'll, you can adjust them up and down um, you can even push it up, you know, push this through if it's too tight um, or too loose. So these things stay curly cued. It's really difficult to cooperate, but over time, once the sun hits it, they'll straighten out and get softer and, and you can readjust them. And there we go. Now I got drip irrigation about once every foot. This is probably the widest spot right here. And, but still, I've got eight inches there eight inches there it's going to hit the center row i can plant right around there and that plant will get some water because the roots will reach out a little further into the ground too and they'll be able to get water so all right so now we're going to lay out the garden i'm going to put the arugula on that side and then we'll put the spinach 
next to it. And check out those roots coming out the bottom, guys. These are some healthy looking spinach. And then we'll put those there. I'm going to pull aside some of this mulch and I'm gonna open up a little trench here. And check out how amazing the soil is, guys. This really broke down nice, nice dark, rich soil. It took me a while, guys, to be able to get this to where I wanted it. In fact, I need to make this just slightly deeper, I think, because I'm gonna be adding some additives to the soil. First one, blood meal. Blood meal is probably the most important when it comes to this bed. Uh, this is mainly your nitrogen. And you can overdo this completely, can overdo it, but it is a slower release. So don't obviously don't go overboard. But you can add a fair amount. I mean, all these veggies really like high nitrogen. I did about two and a half handfuls of that. Next, which is a little less important, but still I think important, this uh, bone meal is phosphorus. So that's gonna promote the root development of your plants. So it's very important for pretty much all plants. But as you can see, I'm putting quite a bit less than I did with the nitrogen. So one other thing I'm gonna try that I've never done before, I've got this, it's ash from my barbecue pit. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of that right in there. And that's potassium, okay? So potassium is called potassium because it's pot ash. It comes from the ash. So that's adding potassium organically back into the soil. In order to keep this from being too strong for the plants, I'm gonna backfill a little bit so that way they're not like sitting right in all this, but it'll just add nutrients back to the soil and it takes a while for these to be even active for the plants. So. Can you burn your plants doing natural ingredients? Yeah, yeah, you definitely can, but you got a far less chance, so. So always, whenever you plant new plants, press down a little bit, get some contact with that soil. And if you notice, I'm actually keeping these mounded up a little bit, and that's to ensure that if any kind of water, if it rains heavily, that we don't have it puddled right at the base of the plant. I don't want to necessarily have this rot in the in the ground. We want good water. Well, that should still get water and it'll keep it off the, the crown of the plant, which you don't want too much excess water in. So I'm going to place my marker here. So I remember that that's arugula. I mean, I'll be able to tell the difference between the plants, but always a good habit to do. All right, so now I'm just covering up with straw. But I want to keep a little hole where the plants are to make sure that they get the sunlight. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add the bone meal, blood meal, and the ash. Now, one thing I wanna mention is this blood meal smells horrible. And same with the bone meal. They're both pretty bad. So after using it, you're gonna smell. Highly recommend taking a shower after using it because that dust gets everywhere and you're just gonna smell it all day long. possible I'm planting these a little early and I think I am um, it's been about a month but you know six weeks is probably a little better however I made the decision to go ahead and plant it since it does look like this is a nice window of opportunity for the weather it is good weather and I want to make sure that they get a good start after transplanting That's right, I was gonna do two rows of spinach. I don't think I'm gonna do two rows of spinach. I'm gonna leave a spot in between. And we'll see how these do. And if it's too early, then I can always bring more of the spinach over. But I am gonna move this drip line over a little bit. Let's get on to the prize head. Oh, hey there, little bee. Mind if I get in there? I don't want to get stung, all right? Come on. There we 
we go. Go over there. Now, it has the word head in it. So you might think, oh, well, it's a head lettuce, but it's a prize head leaf lettuce is what it's called, technically. So I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it does both. Maybe you can um, keep it for it just as a leaf lettuce or as it'll form a head over time. I, so, I mean, I think most lettuces are going to be able to form a head at one point. And even the head lettuces, you can harvest like a leaf lettuce in many ways. We are done planting. Let's just replace this mulch. And there we go, we've got them all planted. Got them all marked as well. Well, that's all I got left here. Got rid of a couple trays. I'm gonna put these up where I keep my seeds just for a couple weeks and see how those ones do over there. You always wanna plant more seeds than you need. And that way you have some just in case. All right, and last, we're just gonna do a light watering just to give them some something to drink to get started and start Send the roots out for water, but also to compress that mulch on top a little bit. And it is just two days since I planted these. And they're doing pretty well, actually. You can see none of them are dying back, so I'm quite happy with that. A couple of them a little better than others. That one's still not quite dark green, but that one's getting nice dark green on the arugula. So I'm pretty happy, guys. I think... Uh, I think it was a success being able to plant these. It was a little earlier than I should have, but wanted to get these out while we still had some decent weather. And I mean, it's a cold rainy day. As you can see, I got water pulled up here. And I mean, it's just, you know, it's super cold, super rainy, but that's, that's good for these. Um, we will start getting some sun. Not tomorrow, it's gonna to rain tomorrow, but the next day. And we should start seeing these really start to pop up and grow really well. Well, thanks for watching everyone. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit the bell notification for future video updates. And if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.